welcome everyone to the promotion ceremony of Senior Master Sergeant Chris Martin. I'm Chief Master Sergeant Reginald Edwards, Senior Enlisted Leader for the DC National Guard, and I will be your Master of Ceremony for today. Please rise for the arrival of the official party, the posting of the colors, and remain standing for the playing of the National Anthem. Colors post. We will now have the invocation by Chaplain Lanier. You'll bow with me in prayer. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you. Dear Father in heaven, your word declares it so. When we have done all that we know to do, you know best how to honor us in our practices. For you are a merciful God and compassionate, and you love and honor those who love and honor you. May every road Chief Master Sergeant Martin travels remind him of your perfect gift of love wherever he goes in your way and your son our living lord we pray amen thank you chaplain uh, you may be seated I'd like to take the time to uh, introduce our official party for today. Our Commanding General, Major General Earl R. Swartz. And our promotee, Senior Master Sergeant Chris Martin. Chris will take the opportunity to um, introduce his family a little later on in the program. But I don't want to go ahead and take this opportunity to uh, recognize his lovely wife, Barbara his daughter, Nikki, and his son, Chris Jr. I also want to take this opportunity to recognize our other um, distinguished uh, guests. We have Brigadier General uh, Kenny Rickett, Director of Joint Staff. 
We have retired Lieutenant General Russell C. Davis, former Director of National Guard Bureau. We have retired Major General Warren L. Freeman, former, former Commanding General, D.C. National Guard. We have retired Major General Richard E. Spooner, former Deputy Commanding General for Air, and his lovely wife, Mrs. Spooner. And we also have with us um, Brigadier General um, Barbanette Bolden, J-8 Mobility Assistant, U.S. Pacific Command, and her husband. And, uh, we also have in attendance with us Land Component Commander Colonel Henneman and his Command Sergeant Major, Land Component Command Sergeant Major Espinosa. Also, the other special guest of uh, Senior Master Sergeant Martin, you know he has a lot, right? <laughs> yeah. We have Mr. Mark Klupe, Director, Naval Criminal Investigative Service. That's NCIS. We're going to ask him some questions later on. We also have Sergeant Major Victor Angry, past Acting Sergeant Major for the Army National Guard. And this is the last one I have on my list, so if I omit anyone, it's up to you to make it right. Chief Master Sergeant Melvin Lanier, EO Program Manager for the uh, Air National Guard. We're very honored to have everyone in attendance today. You know, we begin the promotion. Each promotion to a new rank brings new challenges and expectations. We often hear that a promotion is a reward for past performance, but most so, more so recognition of what one can and will achieve in the future. Today, we celebrate the promotion of Senior Master Sergeant Martin to the rank of Chief Master Sergeant. Chief Master Sergeant is a traditional, customary title and form of address for the senior enlisted non-commissioned officer in charge, but even more so, the title of Chief represents courage, honor, and dedication to getting the job done in spite of all obstacles. So today, we're not just recognizing his promotion to Chief, the highest enlisted rank, but his dedication, commitment, and loyalty to the American people his family, and the men and women serving in the profession of arms. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce to you Major General Earl R. Schwartz, our Commanding General, for comments. Good afternoon. This is a good day. This is a great day for the D.C. National Guard. This is a great day for the National Guard. This is a great day for the Air Force. This is a great day for the nation. Because we are here today to recognize the work of one of our own that stretches across all of the services that I've just mentioned, and even more. If you look at the work that Senior Master Sergeant Martin is doing today, he touches the lives of many, Army, Air Force, civilians. Let me talk a little bit about the civilian piece. We know about the military piece. He almost lives in my office. With all of the things that we discuss about climate control here, in the building and beyond. But one day he came up to me and said, I need your advice. And that's not normal. Normally I call him in to get his advice. He said, I'm working this issue that deals with someone outside of the military. A, a problem that came to him and wondered how to handle it. He did. He handled it very well to a successful level. And you know which one I'm talking about. That's the type of person Senior Master Sergeant Martin is to the community. This promotion is well deserving. I've watched him since I came on here full time. I was traditional up until 2003. But I watched him 
during his more junior years in the building, working out of VI and other places, working the camera, the guy with five AFSCs, MOSs to the Army folks, videography, photography, and you name it. Uh, Chris, anything Chris touches, and forgive me for calling him Chris because I think uh, I get to, to him that way sometimes. Anything Chris touches turns out right. And I do appreciate that. Now when I look at some of the work that he has done during his years in the VI, and even though he shifted assignments to, to be the same sometime around 2002, the biggest challenge we had is keeping the camera out of his hands. <laughs> because he always wants to take a picture. But yet, if you're in a promotion ceremony or some other ceremony, and you look around, and sometimes you may not see the flashes, then suddenly, Chris would appear. He saw the flaw and he fixed it even though it was not his assignment. If you go back to a web page that he has established, you would see back about 2003, 2004. And once in a while, I go back over the events that we have done here at the military and armory. If I want to see what my, my image looks like with black hair. So I go back to 2003, 2004, and even 2005 as the transition began. But, but Senior Mar Master Sergeant Martin has a way of cataloging his work along the way so you, you have a historic uh, 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 reservoir of all the things that he has done. In his current assignment, he goes above and beyond. Sometimes I have to hold him back, think, well, you know, this problem really belongs to a commander because he is out there trying to fix it for you. A very valuable member of the team. So what is about to happen here this afternoon is more than deserved. You heard the words of uh, Chief Edwards talking about a measure of potential. I think Senior Master Sergeant Martin has already demonstrated that he is truly worthy of wearing the rank that he is about to be promoted to. So, I thank you all for attending. I thank you all for being a witness to, to this event. Um, I hope it would uh, also get onto his webpage so we can see a catalog of this as I frequented to check myself out with my black hair. But uh, good luck, thank you. Thank you, General Schwartz. And uh, I already have one alibi. We also have uh, Colonel Stamps, our J1, in attendance. <laughs> Senior Master Sergeant Martin, front and center, please. Also, we'd like to get your wife, Barbara, Nikki, and Chris Jr., please come forward. Attention to orders. Special order number A-10-DC, dated 1 March 2010. Under provisions of ANGI 36-2502, dated 25 August 2000, Senior Master Sergeant Dwight C. Martin, Joint Force Headquarters, District of Columbia, is promoted to the grade of Chief Master Sergeant, effective and with the date of rank 1 March 2010, 
Signed, Major General Earl R. Schwartz, Commanding, D.C. National Guard. Chief Master Sergeants were assembled to honor Chief Master Sergeant Martin upon his entrance into the rank of Chief Master Sergeant. This signifies the resolve of his fellow chiefs to accept him into the D.C. Air National Guard Chiefs Council and demonstrates our support to him. At this time, current and retired D.C. Air National Guard Chief Master Sergeants, please come forward and take your position. Those of you not familiar with the origin of the term Chief Master Sergeant, a short history is in order. The ranks of Chief Master Sergeant and Senior Master Sergeant were created by Congress as a part of the Career Compensation Act of 1958. This act was designed to deal with the Air Force problem called grade suppression. This is a situation where a Master Sergeant supervised one or more other Master Sergeants. The first promotion to Chief Master Sergeant was effective 1 December 1959, when 620 men were elevated to that rank. The Chief Master Sergeants became one of the most elite rank groups in the Air Force, comparable to that of a general officer. I'm going to repeat that again. The Chief Master Sergeants became one of the most elite rank groups in the Air Force, comparable to that of a general officer. Those promoted to Chief Master Sergeant in the first increment can be justly proud of their achievement. They are our first Charter Chiefs. Chief C.K. Witch, the same from Alaska, and Chief Legal Parham will now light all of these up, will now light all the candles, except the Chief Master Sergeant candle, signifying all the enlisted grades one must attain before becoming a Chief Master Sergeant.
Thank you, Chief. Chief Martin, at this time, please light the Chief Master Sergeant's, Chief Master Sergeant's candle. He's a rookie chief. <laughs> That's by design. This demonstrates your allegiance and dedication to the creed that all airmen live by. It is now fitting and proper that Chief Martin takes the Chief's oath. Front and center. Martin, at this time, please extinguish all the candles except for the Chief Master Sergeant candle. In doing, in doing this, you are acknowledging all of the ranks that one must, must pass through in attaining the rank of Chief Master Sergeant. <laughs> 